The state government is considering compulsory ID scanners and harsher banning orders for violent drunks. The proposed measures to crack down on alcohol fueled aggression came as two young men faced court charged with grievous bodily harm. Two Sydney men were on a church camp on the Gold Coast when they allegedly punched a 24-year-old man and stomped on his head. They were denied bail by a Southport magistrate. They're both young, 21 and um, 18, so they're only young men. Uh, they have no criminal history, so it's obviously alcohol fueled. It's the wider issue of alcohol authorities are trying to grapple with, and the state government has had enough of drunks ruling with their fists. Alcohol-related violence will not be tolerated. So ID scanners, banning orders is, look, uh, is in a package of reforms the government's currently considering. Some bars are already on the front foot and introducing their own ID scanners. Potentially, it might not necessarily be a, a great PR um, thing for us, but uh, to be honest, public safety is our primary concern. There's a serious female safety issue here. Are these scanned licences going to be available to people who work in nightclubs, including uh, uh, security officers and bouncers. Civil libertarian Terry O'Gorman wants Queensland to follow Newcastle's lead and introduce earlier closing times. The real problem with drunken violence on the street is too many licensed premises, particularly nightclubs, opening until 5am. The police union agrees that earlier closing times as well as more police are integral to the solution. It would be absolutely catastrophic if we had you know, two and a half thousand people that we're pushing onto the street um, at, at that period of time. Bar owners say drink safe precincts like here in Fortitude Valley are working well to curb drunken violence but they want more education measures to warn people of the consequences if they do the wrong thing. As police prepare for one of their busiest nights on the calendar, they're hoping revellers will ring in the new year peacefully. Francine Norton, ABC News.